And now let's welcome our next speaker, who is a um, documentary filmmaker and a photographer, who now today is going to talk about um, communication through media. So now let's welcome Toby. Thank you very much. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I was almost late here tonight because I was busy doing some very serious research on the internet. You know, I was really busy trying to find some information on uh, important things. And um, as happens when one does this, you sometimes get led astray on uh, a different path. And um, <clears throat> we find things like this. And uh, so then, of course, the time goes by and nothing happens. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, Facebook. The big time waster, the alternate universe, where people have interesting lives and over 10,000 friends, or 1,000 friends. Uh, if you're spending time on Farmville, you're definitely wasting your time. There's no question about that. <laughs> but the other day, somebody said to me, dude, I've got to get back to real life. And I suddenly thought, am I your imaginary friend? <laughs> <clears throat> so I'd like to tell you a story. There's a village in Sinju called uh, Chingchuan. And it's up in the mountains, an Aboriginal village, and it's kind of forgotten. Father Barry Martinson, the priest there, tells me that for 35 years through um, uh, earthquakes and typhoons and poverty, this town is always at the back of the, of the, of the queue. And um, the, the children there have a real problem with being so isolated and not being able to really have opportunities to get out. And one day, a friend of mine, uh, Melinda, arrived there and she looked at this beautiful place and she said, what can we do here that will really make a difference? And Father Barry said, well, what we really need is an, a community center, a place where people can come and learn things that will make them, them, their lives more sustainable. And we actually have an old building that's standing disused. And we've had some people come and make some plans on changing this building into a community center where there can be a store, there can be, it can be really a place that shows people this is what this village is about, and it can revitalize this whole town. And it's going to cost $2.1 million to change it like that. Taiwan dollars, okay. So Melinda said, okay, fine, let's give us a try. Let's see what we can do. And she put out on Facebook a project called the Ufang Project, and she invited artists and photographers to come up to the village and give workshops to the kids. This is a, just as a start. And through Facebook, this thing just spread. Everybody started getting enthusiastic about this idea. And finally, 21 photographers and 28 kids showed up. The photographers are the real mature ones on the top of the left. <laughs> and we had a wonderful time with these kids. They absolutely loved what we were trying to teach them and they were really getting into it and uh, it was a fantastic day for all of us and everybody felt energized and inspired by these kids who are so very little and yet are trying to give something and trying to do something for themselves. We had the art workshop and it was the same thing. These kids would just keep on painting, we said it's time to go to dinner now and they would just keep on, they were not interested in anything else and this is something so different for them to have some people come out there and actually pay attention to them and give them their time. Eventually we gave each of the children a camera and we told them to go and take photos of their lives, of their family, of their environment and we would bring all of this together and have a photo exhibition and an auction to raise funds for their society. I went up and I made some f uh, film about it. That went out on Vimeo, on Facebook as well, and got a lot of interest and, in and attention for the project to keep going. So, um, and one of the things that really caught my attention was the choir, because these kids actually have a self-directed choir that sing in the church. They train themselves, and it was really beautiful. So I made a film about that, put that onto, onto Vimeo, and it did the rounds, and again, it managed to raise a lot of interest and a lot of attention. Finally, the day arrived, we had the auction, and the kids performed, and um, the bidding started. And the children were absolutely amazed when they saw their works that they had created selling for 3,000, 5,000, 10,000 Taiwan dollars. Something that they had made was given value, and you could absolutely see they were amazed by this. It was a real eye-opener and a very, very inspiring thing to see. At the end of the evening, we tallied it all up and we had made 300,000 Taiwan dollars towards their um, um, communication, uh, uh, sorry, their community center. And back then the magic thing happened. A wealthy patron who had been there, who had been inspired through all of this work that happened, came forward and said, I'll give you the rest. 
you can go and build your community center. 2.1 million Taiwan dollars. Thank you. So ladies and gentlemen, my point here is you can spend your time on Farmville or you can spend your time on using social media to do social change. You can tell me that Facebook is not real and it's all super superficial. But I think we can go and ask these kids, how real is this? And I think that says plenty real. Thank you very much.